Hey everybody, Jamie here. You know, I've never done Facebook Live before, and I thought, well, maybe I should do one right now since I'm at Stonehenge. <laughs> so, I'm at Stonehenge with Resonator, and with my friend Hugh Newman, who is, uh, lives nearby and uh, has a great site called Megalithomania and knows quite a bit about the stones and stuff. So. I thought I would say hi uh, to everybody live from Stonehenge with Leslie and Hugh. <laughs> and uh, here's the stones. Let me flip this thing around. And uh, yeah, this is about as close as you can get to Stonehenge stones themselves, unless it's the solstice or the equinox. It's open four times a year for free, but most of the time of the year you have to pay entry and you can get as close as I'm standing right now. Uh, and you can see how big these things are, kind of. I'll move back and so you can see Hugh <laughs> and get a like, sense of scale. But, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Hugh, what do you want to say about these things? Well, these are just like the, the ultimate stone circle, the ultimate megalithic site in all the world, really. And um, it's a privilege to be able to, I, I live very close to here, but to be able to still come in four times a year on the solstice and equinoxes is a big deal. Uh, and it enables, you know, people to celebrate like the ancients did, which there's evidence of, they certainly did. And you can see here, I mean, just some examples, these are plain sarsen stones, the large ones. Smaller ones, you can see hidden within blue stones that come from Wales. And these come from a place called the Pacelli Mountains. And these were brought here first, and they were the original construction. There's been multiple levels of construction here. The very earliest part of this site is 10,000 years old. It's the great wooden post holes that were in the old car park, now just a bit of grassland um, just north of the site. So, um, yeah, this is this is a very special place, and uh, come to Stonehenge now. <laughs> Thanks, you. Yeah, it's been pretty epic to uh, to finally get here. Uh, I've been, of course, hearing about this for a really long time, and uh, uh, it's an honor to be able to broadcast live uh, via Facebook. Uh, you know, for all of our lives, I kind of wondered about like Star Trek style, like, oh, look, you could talk to people on video on the screen when I was a kid, and so it's pretty awesome that you could be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like. Because already in the comments, I can see people being like, Germany, Portugal, like, there's people all over the world already watching this live, you know? It's pretty awesome. So, what's up, everybody? Uh, Sunshine, Resonator Chang. Uh, how you doing? How are you feeling about Stonehenge? Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, we lucked out on the weather, too. Yes. Yep. She's nice made it here as well. Yeah, I actually came here last night with Nassim Haramein. Uh, it got a little late. We were here in the dark, uh, but we did get to see it fairly nicely because we met a nice gentleman uh, that was a you know, security who started ta talking to us and like shined the light on it for us. And then we hung out and checked it all out. And Nassim is on his way back to the United States right now. Um, you know, thanks to everybody who came out to the London and Paris premieres of the Connected Universe film and everybody that's been coming out to my presentations on his work. I'll be presenting tonight in Glastonbury, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. You can check my events tab off to the left there and uh, check out the details on that. I'll also be in uh, Liverpool in a couple of days on the 4th and then on Sunday I'm back in London uh, doing a presentation on the 6th. And from there, I go to Amsterdam, do a talk on the 12th, and then Barcelona in Spain on the 19th. And these are four hour long, super dense downloads on Nassim Harmain's Unified Field Theory, basically describing the entire universe in a short amount of time. Something I've been doing for many years and have honed it down to give just like nugget after nugget of information, enough to like pique the interest and then go down the rabbit holes of searching that you can do once you're interested in a certain topic. But uh, check out Hugh Newman's stuff. Megalithomania is awesome and he's got a, a book about giants, uh, giants on record. And uh, he's got a six episode series on History Channel. Uh, what's that one called? Search for the Lost Giants. Search for the Lost Giants. Is that on any like uh, thing like Netflix or it's something? On some platforms. It's on some platforms. Search, yeah. Yeah, check those out. So uh, much love, you guys. Uh, here, I'll give you a little view of, uh, of these guys. And back to the stones. But uh, yeah, it's been great. Stonehenge. I'll do a little more. I'll do a little more shot here of the stones themselves, if I can get this to flip. Yeah. 
So I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go back. It's a beautiful landscape. It's cool to see where all you guys are coming in from. Thanks for posting your uh, your location. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to like feel actually connected in real time to people all over the world. Uh, and it's been great to travel, you know, great distances and show up in cities I've never been and meet incredible, super resonant, super interesting people that are totally onto this set of information and seeking more information. And uh, I plan to keep doing these kinds of uh, events all over the world uh, in the coming years. And I'll keep streaming and doing Facebook Live stuff like this. My very first Facebook Live, uh, Stonehenge, November 2nd. 2016. This is the actual henge right here, this this uh, ditch. There's a ditch that goes all the way around Stonehenge and the stones are the stones and this ditch is the henge. Uh, and the Sims theory on this is actually that by making this ditch and having this, uh, this trough basically, you're creating a containment of the energy that's created inside the circle. Many times, uh, some people think that it's try to contain the, the energy from the outside from getting in, but the Sim thinks that this could be a place where incredible vortexes of energy were created and the henge helps to protect the people that are on the outside from the resonance that is created uh, by placing these stones exactly in the right configuration. It's still a mystery to this day who made these uh, stones or who put these here in this arrangement, but it's for sure a calendar and it marks the solstices and uh, It's really easy to get to I highly recommend if you ever come to England come check out Stonehenge, so Good to see you all. I'll be in Glastonbury tonight presenting uh, on the Sim Harmaid's Unified Field Theory My name is Jamie Janover and until next time much love